Hey, what's going on, everybody? We'll be talking more about Ukraine. We're going to get right into it because this is important stuff, and I just want to make sure you get this information. I do want to say um, I don't go to Reddit to get my news. That's not where I usually go. Um, but the R slash Ukraine Reddit has been having a lot of actual, like, information from the Ukrainians that are there. Um, again, you have to make sure every, all the news you're seeing, unless it's, like, like it's, like, really, really, you're, like, it can be proven. Um, you can take it with a grain of salt, but these some these can be proven uh, pretty well. Um, so that's why I'm showing these. I'm not going to be going into all the information on everything until I know it is certain and we know more about what's going on. So let's watch this first video really quickly um, about President uh, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky and about what he he's saying. So basically, he's saying everyone that is leading, that leads the country, is there in Ukraine. They haven't abandoned it, and this, this just pulls at my heartstrings. He's trying to show the time. Like, I feel so bad for these people. I want to help them, but I there's not much that we can do other than protest to like or government or like protest against Russia, but. We, we just have to wait and see for the most part. Um, next thing I want to show was him right here. So I'm going to let him play while I read what he's saying. Um, my is audio not playing? Ooh, let me get the audio. There we go. So he's saying, Good morning, everyone. Ukrainians, recently a lot of fake information was being spread about me ordering our army to lay down arms and evacuate. Here's the thing. I'm here. We are not laying down arms. We will protect our state because our arms is our truth. And our truth is in that, that this is our land, our country, our kids, and we will all defend them. That is all. That is all I want to tell you. Glory to Ukraine. Again, the reason I'm using Reddit is because every other news source that has this video has like one line of text. And this one's actually a translation. Um, or there's a one video where this one guy just... Like, said what he said. I'm like, why didn't you just show me what he said in use, like, you know, like, showing it in English, like, in writing? I want to finish off with this video, which was, so, if you don't know in Ukraine, uh, I think it was, like, two to three days, it was, like, several days before they were invaded by Russia, they passed a law that gave a lot, um, the average citizen can own, more, like, a gun more, like, uh, readily available, and people, gun shops were selling it, right? Now, um, if, 18 to 60, 60 year olds, if you're a man, a man in Ukraine and you're a Ukrainian citizen, you can't leave the country, you must stay and fight. And they're giving everyone guts. So this is what I wanted to show you guys this really quickly because I thought it was super um, sad that this is what they're going through. But I think it's really powerful that they are staying and doing what they they can for their country. I just want to quickly look at this. You see that they're rocking with the gun. What is the quality? So sad. It, so I've I've been thinking about what I think the US should do. Because I don't think the US should go boots on the ground. I think we need to leave that decision up to things like NATO and the UN and figure that kind of stuff out. But Seeing this shit more and more, I think we need to do more than just sanctions. We need to, like, do something more direct while still not putting troops on the ground. Again, I, I, if, if I think, if I, if putting troops on the ground, uh, if, if doing that didn't result in possible, like, a nuclear issue or a strong, uh, yeah, that's the main reason. I'm, I'm worried about, like, nukes. If we, if the U.S. were to go feet on the ground and we don't want the US in an another war directly directly with another superpower. That's the main reason why I'm saying I don't think we should go in. But other than that, if there wasn't anything else there, I think we would go in. Um, but I, I don't know what the US should do. What do you what do you guys think? What, like what should the US do in this situation? Because I don't want the US to be a police like the poli the world poli world police anymore. But I I don't think we can let this just happen. Like it's this is so sad. Me continue it. They're just regular people.
he's, he's a freaking actor and he's out here ready to fight for his country. It's it's so heartwarming. So she's choosing. She's not even like being like having to stay like a guy does. She's choosing to go fight for her country. They shouldn't have to be doing this, but I'm glad they are. But yeah, I mean, there's not much that we can do if you don't live in Ukraine or in a country that's close by. But I, th I think the best we can do right now is to continue to voice our, sh like, disdain for this. Again, words don't do shit, really, in this case. Um, make donations if you can. There's a lot of donation links you can go to. Uh, make sure that they're legitimate. But there's so many links in you can donate to. Um, or if you know any, like, any other stuff you can do. I mean, the average person can't do anything in this situation. Um, unless they were actually there fighting. Uh, which I don't think is recommended. I don't don't do that unless yeah I, I I don't recommend you go to Ukraine um and, and do this. But I I think that these people that are here that are fighting for the country, their leader is still there. He has not abandoned them. He's staying on the ground. I think that says a lot and I really hope that Ukraine pulls through this and Russia gets their shit knocked in cuz fuck you. Uh not not all Russians. Just um fuck you Putin. Fuck you, the leaders of Russia. And, um, Russians. If any Russian watches this, um, and you somehow see this without your country's censorship, make sure you go and say, hey, fuck you, we, we don't want to be in a war. And if you do want to be in a war, well, fuck you. Bye. Right. That's all. Alright, I'll see you next video. Bye, everybody. Um, yeah, I just, I hope shit gets better. Alright. Bye. Peace.